So first thing we did when we touched down in Philly after we checked into the hotel, obviously, um, was we went to go check out this gym. So Fusion Gyms is a franchise, I believe. I think there's like three other locations. This specific location just opened up. So obviously we're like, oh, we gotta go check this out. The gym is huge. Um, they have so much stuff that they're still working and building on. So if you are ever in Philly or you're, you are living or located currently in Philly and you haven't heard of this gym, I would definitely go give this gym a try. Um, it's amazing, it's huge, the layout is really big, they have tons of equipment, and the lighting is amazing, so um, definitely give this a try. We went all three days that we were in Philly. second day we got up pretty early and we went to go have breakfast at this place called Excellent. They had a whole bunch of breakfast sandwiches. It was like a really good spot. Hey. So after we went to the gym, we went back to the hotel, we showered, changed, and got ready kind of for the day. And we went on this tour at the Eastern State Penitentiary. So um, apparently this is like the first prison that was ever created. And it was pretty cool. Uh, we got to listen to the history of the building and the structure and uh, kind of take a tour through the cells and really just put us in a mental state to revert back to this time. It was interesting to go through that journey. And it was really, really cold. So it even brought more of an experience where we were kind of in this place of what it would be like to be a prisoner in this time in the cold, going through, you know, harsh conditions and actually experiencing, you know, what life was like before we have all these things that we kind of just take advantage for now. So it, I really love or enjoy, um, you know, kind of taking a step back into time every now and then. Now and again, sorry. You guys too. Thank you. So we just finished uh, the our tour at the first prison in the U.S., the Philly prison. Eastern State. Eastern State is the technical name. She know it. Uh, it was pretty cool. Cool history. Uh, we were both just talking about. And freezing. You want to tell me what we just? Um, just kind of about the concept that this was like a hundred years ago and uh, we're kind of just walking through the same structure as people a hundred years ago I don't know how to I don't know how to get that thought out but it's kind of like trippy yeah and I was thinking like somebody's on we may yeah somebody's a hundred years old today and back when this prison was built, because it's, what, 1870? 1870. 1870? Was it? So it was more than 100. But to think all the advances that we've made, advancements that we've made as, like, a, a, right, a yeah. species. The heat in the house. As a society in 100 years. It's, it's crazy to think about. To imagine in another 100 years how, many, how much further we'll, we'll be along. This is gonna be unreal. Like we went from heating our houses with coal and wood, with, with wood and coal to freaking Central cell heating. phones. <laughs> uh, you got a computer in your pocket. I'm recording on this camera here, 
in a hundred years? We did that in a hundred years? Like how further along are we gonna get in another hundred? What they gonna make? Yeah. Shit gonna be flying. Yeah. So, how was your experience? This is my first time doing clay on a wheel, mm -hmm. so I was nervous, but I'm excited that I did it. You assign your name, nickname, or initials in the very bottom there using one of those silicone tips. Here you go. He's on. Supposed to be a camera for me. Uh, let's go with initials. So we're out here at the Reddington Terminal Market and um, I just found it on TikTok. A whole bunch of people had recommended coming here. I thought, I didn't really know what it was, but apparently it's like a whole market with food, um, groceries, literally anything. And I think it's really, really cool. So if you guys are ever in Philly, you guys can check this out. It was so corny, but it was cute corny. <laughs> um, we went to this place called South, and it's a soul food jazz spot. Thought it was such a vibe. If you're into jazz, you just want to go and kind of listen to music and eat pretty good. Also, it was relatively cheap. I think we got three appetizers, two drinks, um, and a full entree each. And I think it came to like 150 bucks. So that, like, you can't beat that. You know what I mean? So. And then on the last day, we went to Chinatown. Um, I just really wanted a pineapple bun and kind of just went through, you know, the city and the area and just like submerged in the culture. And that was it. <laughs> 